<laughs> Hello ladies. Welcome to Tammy Loves Vintage Bitch. My name is Tammy Neff and I am going to make a creation for you tonight. Um, I want to show you this old tin that I found. Um, I've had it for a while and I saw this little green band. Of course it's neutral which you know is like all my decor is always neutral as you can see but it had this really pretty green band which made me think of Christmas and so I can take it in any direction that I want I'm not exactly sure how I want to um, do this so we're just kind of gonna build it together but I thought maybe I would ask you guys in the beginning here uh, to help me out so um, I see a few of you have jumped on. I'm not seeing any comments. Oh, I sure hope there's a comment. I'm gonna say, oh, it says ho. I'm gonna say hi. <laughs> oh, there. Hi, Robin. Yay. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad I can see comments. Thank you, Robin. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for saying hello. Hi, Kendra. Um, so I posted, I keep posting things that we're making um with my friends or in our group and i get some private messages from time to time about how to do it and i know we've done tins for years together but um when i posted our projects from last night everybody was loving them and then i had a few people um hi tina hey sharon hey kathy had a few people ask me to kind of go over it with them and they'd love to see me make one and so um, I had planned on doing one in the group and then I told the girls, I'm just going to do it over here because I hadn't done anything over here for a little bit. And so um, this one's the one that spoke to me. I had one, um, I don't know, are you guys busy? Do you want? It's, it's 8 o'clock here. Um, oh, thanks Sharon. Uh, I don't know how deep you want to get with this. There was a gold and cream one that I, uh, let me just get it and show you. Take me a second. That's right here. I. I love this one. It was a great tin. It's uh, black pepper. Um, it was $12 and I thought it was a beautiful tin all the way around, but I'm struggling with what to put on it. Um, I feel like I want to emphasize that gold and I had a couple of these little angels that I kind of liked, um, but then, then I looked at some deer uh, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. You know, you've got to, you kind of got to feel it to, um, um, hi Esther. Yes. My internet friend. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling this one. So I put it aside. Then I pulled out this one, which has great coloring to it. Um, it's the ones that we did last night there. Um, I don't think I have any of them here now. No. Do I? No, they're in the kitchen. Um, do I? <laughs> I think they're in the kitchen. Anyway, they were a little bit whiter here. Sometimes you can find like a really almost new looking one for like $5 when you're antique shopping. Hey, Tracy, you caught me. Uh, you love, I know, Linda. I want to do a really good job on that one. Hey, Debbie, I'm good. I mean, I want to do a good job on all of them. Um, yes, it's Durkee's Ground Sage. And... Um, I did a, I did two or three of them like this last night. They were all different um, um, herbs, right? <laughs> they were all different. So um, thank you, Tracy. So anyway, I'm going to keep moving for you guys. Um, so I, I'm back to this basic schmasic one. Um, so going back to this one, I really, I picked up these trees. This is a new tree, but I loved it that it was already kind of done up. And I loved that on it and I had this really ugly he's not ugly now but his body was silly putty color like flesh color it just looked like a ping pong ball painted his face color and he looked like he had a big butt you know it just didn't I didn't like it <laughs> but um I glittered him uh Julie and I were talking about what to do with him and she's like he needs to be red and I'm like yeah you're right so I thought about doing the um cotton spun on him and then I decided to glitter him just to give him a little pizzazz so I really like this and I think that could be like I'm looking in the camera I really think that could be a cute one um, and then I had like this big Santa and I kind of liked kind of like this like him stepping off the side of the box I kind of like that a lot too 
So I was going to do this one and then I came back to this one and I'm kind of, uh, you know, I haven't warmed up tonight. Hi, Tara. Hey, Dee Dee. Uh, hi, Pam. Hi, you guys. Hey, Nina and Gail. Hi, you guys. Thank you for, hey, Linda. Um, yeah, so, so I'm back to this plain one. Um, we always say we need to warm up <laughs> and when craft nights hits, we kind of want to do a couple of them. You like the one stepping off? Yeah, he's really cool. So I picked up these trains, or these trees, bottle brush vintage tree, it says, and it was $5. And um, I think it was from a train set. Obviously, it's been laying against some batting. It's got fuzz or spur or something. Um, I'm thinking it was a train scene and they used the, like the batting, the snowy stuff. Um, oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine, fine. Uh, no, I'm perfectly fine, Esther. <laughs> um, but thank you. <laughs> I'll take your prayers anyway. <laughs> you never want to pass up a, a prayer for you. Um, anyway, this one was $5 and I kind of, I, it was very inexpensive, and it's different than the bottle brush trees. Um, there was something about it. There was a nice softness about it and a fullness, and it kind of looks like pipe cleaners when you look really close. So I really like the look of this tree. So I thought maybe we would um, use this tree. I was worried about the height of the... Um, of the uh, Tin, but I think I'm going to go with it. Now, a, a little secret to the trees is I could lower him by a good inch just by cutting it off of this. Hi, Shelby. Uh, and cutting this wire right here. I could even cut the wire up here and make the tree this tall. Like you're, you're in control of your height. So even when you're out shopping, if you see a tree and you think, oh, that's probably too big for what I want to use it for. I'm sure you guys know that. I'm treating you like you don't know, but I mean, maybe you don't know. So you can cut it just with a little, you know, a, some kind of a wire cutter is all you need. Cut your tree down. So I was kind of digging this. And the, and the other thing I was liking about this was the fact that I, I've got a lot of surface here to cover without... Um, losing like the label and the green band like see all of this that I can hang down so I kind of liked I kind of like the idea of that so this one's got a little bit it, it is um, by bicarbonate of soda um, specify Merck Merck standard and costs no more sodium bicarbonate is what this is um, and I love, you know, I love that it's torn and yucky. Um, we're definitely vintage girls here. So um, so I'm seeing a little tear up here and I'm seeing another little one down here, which doesn't, you see that? doesn't bother me, but it gives me a place to be okay with covering the tin. Sometimes we get a little carried away and you lose the whole tin, if you saw that from the pictures from last night. And other times we kind of want to show off the tin. I feel like you know, this one's a great one to show off the tin. And I think this one will be, it's not a tin, it's more of a can. It is a tin, but it feels more like a can to me. Uh, but it has the lid on it. So anyway, um, so when I'm looking at it here, I feel like I'm going to make this be the front so that I can kind of come down over. So um, I'm just thinking, you know, it's, it's exactly, it's its history. So let me get you down here a little bit closer. I don't need to be in here. Um, and then I want to start pulling out some greens. I have a big tub here. See my big tub? And I keep, like if I pick up an old wreath or something like that, I cut it up. Sometimes I buy new wreaths, um, like these. Um, let's see, I have another one that was a really good one that I got last year. This one is a really good one. So here's one and the leaves are nice and chunky and they're already snowed. I got this at Joann's. I remember getting it. This one, um, it was $16. Uh, I don't remember where I got it, but it's really great texture. And then I have this one that I think I had on my website actually, and it's just really good also. So I, I have those three wreaths and then the rest is just 
pieces that I've cut up. Hi, Carrie. Hey, Lynn. Merry Christmas to you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, so, okay. So, what I like to do is start with my... Um, start with my greens usually if I just I think I want to leave so I had three trees where are they oh poop where did they go I had three trees right here oh here's one. Oh, here they are I found them <laughs> so I pulled out this tree as well I thought trees in the forest are going to be a little different but the coloring looked the same this one was a little bit off color but it was a little bit shorter and I kind of liked it so I kind of was feeling that as I was over pulling things out of my drawers for this. Hi, Marilyn. Um, and I, I, sorry, I'm not doing this in the group. I know you're over there, but I just felt like I hadn't been on my main page in a while. And we've done so many projects over there this, this month. So um, I don't know, I felt like coming in here and saying hey to the girls <laughs> so, that I hadn't seen. Uh, what's on the can? They're just trees, just trees right now. Um, it's by sodium carbonate is what the tin is, if that's what you're asking, what's printed on it. And then back to the Santa again, I really like him. And so this is a direction that we could take this tin and be able to add some reds. Um, I'm picturing some kind of reds and big, um, like big bulbs maybe, you know, in the bows and, or, or some bells or something like that. I could also though do this guy. He was great too. So I could do him. Um, thanks Gail. Hey Kathy. Yeah, nice to be back. Hey, hey Karen. Um, so I, I kind of liked him too. Now that he's fixed, now that his behind is better. <laughs> And then I have this little set of uh, people that I picked up. Now these are old, old cotton spun. Um, and we made some pine cone people and I was showing them how I had the bright idea of using, uh, where, here they are. I had these little striped pipe cleaners and making this to set under the pine cone. So anyway, we're, we're gonna do one more project in there this month. The little, we're gonna try and make these little cone uh, I'm blocking it. The little cone people. Um, we haven't done that yet. Here's another little cone. Look, he's great. So we're, we're going to work on some cone people over there yet. And then I've got to be done because we've done, I promised them three and I, I don't know how many I've done. You love the chubby one? Well, they're both kind of chubby. <laughs> Which one? The, the ball bottom or the one stepping off? No. And then I thought about this guy because he's a little bit neutral and then I thought maybe I could bring in like some turquoises with him you see and do that instead of the reds well you can't see um you could do him and then I did have the this seam binding that I had um, bought and wrinkled and and all of that and these were the best match um, I thought for his gray, he's kind of gray. So I thought that went really well. And then um, I had these two to work in and they're real small, they're real tiny, real tiny. So I'm kind of stuck what to do. So you guys tell me what you think. I see some people saying, you like the neutral guy? You like the stepping up? Um, you have that Santa? You like the stepping? Okay, we have two steppings done. Oh, what do you mean, Marilyn? I'm sorry. I always get nervous when I do these, so I just ramble. I just ramble, and then I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Who else is here? Oh, Cindy Kallenbarker. I knew I saw somebody that I knew. Oh, good. You did some for gifts? Oh, that's awesome. Kind of like the neutral and the snowman. Okay, what's the light blue material? Oh, it's seam binding. Um, I can give you a link if you'd like. You can get it in all kinds of colors. I need to order another cream color one. You guys are liking the neutral one. The red will definitely pop out. I've done so many reds though. I kind of like the neutral because of that. Um, but I'll do whatever. I'll keep watching. You guys are like, the snowman's kind of winning. Yeah, here now the snowman's kind of winning. But you can see, you can take them in any direction you want. Um, you like the blue? Okay, all right. I think we're gonna go with the gray snowman. Hi, Clara. Hey, Diane. Two trees and the angel. 
Um, oh, you liked this angel. You like the angels. Yeah, the gold and the gold's throwing me, I guess. I, and I may end up doing gold. I don't know. I guess the gold goes with the can. Uh, see, see you guys. And then I have like this whole. I showed you a couple of deer. I have this whole bucket full of deer, and like I was really liking him on here. I liked him on the gold one too. Um, so it kind of takes me longer to figure out what I want to put together than, and I like this, and I could see him with all of the trees and going neutral with the deer. So, um, yeah, I'm just, uh, do a bunch, <laughs> do a bunch, you got all night, right? <laughs> um, okay. So, all right. So let's get started with filling this up. Um, so I like to do, okay, where's my front again? So here's my front. So I kind of just like to start with a bunch of greens. Um, yeah. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Patricia is a beautiful artist um, and she does a lot of trees. Um, yeah, I should put some on. I've had a whole bunch of stuff for Christmas. It's laying right over there that I was going to do a sale, but it got Christmas got away from me, like I know a lot of you guys. Of course, I Christmas all year round anymore. Um, used to be we didn't really look, but um, you can get a little bit better deals in the off season. So kind of been looking, um, all, <laughs> bang zester, go with it. Okay, Linda, we're going, we're going. Um, and then I'm just, I just kind of start filling. Um, let me see, so I thought I might run some down the side here. Uh, I got to turn it so I can see. This is the part I hate going live and then you guys can't see and well, I can't see. Um, so I was thinking maybe hang something down here. I want a little, I kind of want it full because it's so big. Um, so let's, maybe I can lay it down. That'll work maybe for both of us. Um, or for all of us, both of us. I'm acting like there's just a couple of us here. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. That kind of covers up that little broken area, which is fine. It doesn't bother me. I just know it's there. So um, like Tara said, it kind of, whatever she said, it kind of gives it personality and shows its, its travels that this can has been through and, you know, all of its, um, all of its uh, trials and tribulations, <laughs> bumps and bruises like we all have. Uh, okay. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'll show you. Hang on. So here's what I was thinking. You can see that. And then I was thinking about adding this right here like that. That's kind of good. Let's see. Oh, you're welcome, Tracy. Yes, exactly what we all try to do when we're crafting because you want to be different. I think the biggest thing... You know, so many people have started making these. I certainly didn't invent it, but I know we've done these for the last few years here at this time of year. And we've done some for other seasons as well now. But um, I feel like, um, I feel like you're all sharing on those Friday posts and selling your things. And some of them are like majorly awesome. And other ones are just a little bit, and I don't mean to I, I'm not pointing any fingers at anybody. I'm just saying, I think keep working on them. Keep making them like me, like my friends. We've gotten better at it. And we've learned that the more stuff you put on it, the better it is. To take a tin and stick, you know, stick a deer on it and a tree and lay a Christmas bulb like this doesn't quite, you know, it's super cute right? That's cute. You can add some snow to it and it's fine, but you can take it up another, you can make it even better without that much um, extra effort, really. It's just adding more things. Now, we're talking about being to the point where we need to back it off a little bit. Hey, Chris, we need to back. Hey, Jeannie. Um, yes, our, our talents have evolved and we're feeling like we're getting good at this. You never did a tin cup. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, why don't you take that 4th of July, Marilyn? You've got some time to look for red and white um, things and some blues for sure. 
I mean, that's what came to my mind. Um, and it's kind of funny because, you know, people get hurt with sparklers and <laughs> things like that. So, yeah, why not? Uh, okay, so let me keep digging here. Oh, here's, let's see what this is. Is this the same? No, this is a little bit different. So let's add, here's a little corner of that. Let's just, I just kept building and, and um, last night's project, we, we were feeling like, yeah, you know, they're okay. They'll be all right. But the more we did, the more we were like, wow, these are really, really pretty. And of course I was making them to sell. <laughs> course you know you can't sell it you have to keep it and I can't keep them all but dang you've been collecting yes great idea Linda um okay okay Tracy thanks for putting that in the comments that'll remind me to to post a link I'll post it in your actual comment and then I'll just post it freely that usually sends it to the top um and then you can you can go click from there and search for other colors um, there's a color, I use a turkey red, is a nice bright red, but it's really bright, it's a bright red, and, um, I kind of, I kind of, uh, wanted a warmer red, and Julie found one called Lipstick Red, and it was beautiful, but it's not on Amazon, she, she had found it a few years ago, and she's just got, like, this much left on her roll, she's like, what am I going to do when it runs out? Because it's really nice. It's more like a, almost a burgundy red. Um, I don't know. You guys want me to do a Christmas sale, Jeannie? Um, I mean, I could show you what I have, and then you guys can decide. Um, I left it all out. I started to pack it, and I thought, no, maybe I'll do it. Because I can remember when I had my shop, um, I sold a bunch of stuff at the end of the season. The website's been doing well but not everything is on there so um yeah I don't know I mean I guess I could just hold it up and if no one wants anything I've also finally gotten some lace uh okay you're welcome <laughs> whoops whoops I didn't get that one up high enough but it's okay um oh now I don't like that it's a v so I've got to work another piece of that in and it looks like it's got to be this little shorty. Let me see. Let me see. I'm just going to get rid of all this. And the other thing I do, this just reminded me. Gee, that's like the the mother wire right there. That's the main, main vein. I caught that. Okay. Um, the other thing that I like to do is always cut off those long... Um, you got a turkey red. It's a pretty, pretty red, but it's... Let me show you the difference. If I can, oh yeah, I've got it right here. So this is turkey red and this is lipstick red. See the difference? Lipstick red is just really rich. And then I have a, um, uh, do I quickly, I was looking for a burgundy. Oh yeah, I got a burgundy right here. And then there's burgundy. So see how it steps, you know, that way. Anyway, there's that. Way more than you ever wanted it done. Um, okay, here's a little shorty. So maybe I'll just... Um, oh, I'm going to put it right here. Um, my thinking was when I put it over here... Oh, I don't know. I just have all of this wispy stuff. And over here I have a little bit more chunky so I thought maybe that coming out of there is better. So I'm going to jam it up as high as I can. Okay, just put a little bit of glue. And I don't glue the whole thing because I kind of want it to be wispy. I kind of want it to, you know, flow out. And Hi, Stephanie. Thank you. Um, so I kind of want it to, you know, flow out a little bit. So, I mean, really, you could kind of be good to roll here, but I'm going to keep going. And these two, I cut off the points, so I pitch those. Um, you really need the points. You really need the tips on them. Let's get a piece of this in here. I'll cut that down. I want to get a few of these leaves in here because they're always the best. So, um, <laughs> so much junk. Uh, I feel.
feel so bad at these <laughs> videos because when I'm in my group, it's more like girlfriends. Like we kind of just hang out and, you know, and from here, I feel like I need to be more professional. <laughs> I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm rusty. Hey, Donna. Hey, Lisa. Hi, girls. So bear, bear with me. Um, if you're not following me, I would sure love it if you did. Um, I, I promise I won't blow up your your feed. I do post a picture, you know, most every day. But I won't, you know, I'm not, I don't go live all the time, which I need to. That should be my New Year's resolution is to try and go live more. But I've kind of done that every year and failed. So, um, yes, yeah, Sue, you guys are my girlfriends too. But, yeah, it's just different. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. I just, oh my gosh. I love that tree that you made. I just watched it a little bit ago with the, um, the cardboard and you wrapped it with the rope. Just you come up with the neatest, most simple things and they're just beautiful. It's ones like you that are intimidating, right? You other girls. Gotta be careful watching too many other people because then all, <laughs> thank you, T. <laughs> You're funny. Um, my neighbors gave me two totes of very beautiful tree picks and all. Who is that? Tracy, you're the lucky girl. You're the lucky one. Um, making more tissue. Oh, awesome. Aw, I loved making those. I have mine. It's right there. I see it. <laughs> so see how the different, see how the different, um, I want to say textures, but like thicknesses and everything just kind of wisps it out. I mean, I'm way not done, you guys. I'm just kind of building, but I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea of how it's going to go. Um, here. So let's get this one on. I'm trying to leave my surface a little empty because I'm going to be filling it with um, my trees and stuff. So we're going to see how that's all going to go. There comes a point where I've got to put them on and then I come back in and fill a little bit more. Um, or I also, a tip in case I don't get into these, this little bag is full of all of the little trees. I told you to cut your trees off to get them to the right size. Um, you just cut your little nubbin, your little wire off. Um, here's a nice wire I haven't cut yet, see that? And um, I always keep all of the bases that I cut off because they're great little lifts. And if we need them, we'll, I'll show you, but if I forget, um, try to keep all of them that you cut off, even these tiny little ones, because sometimes you just want to bump up like a little snowman or a little, like, like, oh, um, she's loose. Here, oh, he's cute. Like this little mouse, let's say we want to add the little mouse in. He might need to be a little bit bigger because he's so small. So you could put him on something like this to get him lifted up over, you know, a lot of these tins have like a ledge. So you would lose part of the mouse. See that lip? Um, and this one has a lip, so um, you would lose part of that. So anyway, isn't he adorable? He would be really cute in there. Actually, I know I added. I have a whole, I have drawers and drawers and drawers full of this stuff, you guys, like lots. <laughs> There's six drawers full of stuff. So anyway, yeah, keep your, keep your pieces. And then, so like this, I would typically throw it away, but I'm gonna keep all of these little pieces and throw them in. And so then I'm just throwing this away, okay? And let's see here. This little bit. Um, oh, right here. I'm gonna shove this right here and have it come out here somewhere. Yeah, I, you guys can't even see it. I can't even see it. There, see it? Right there. I like that. Different textures, different shades of green, different thicknesses, and it all um, makes it interesting. Now, if you can't do that, just get yourself a pick and cut it down. Don't be afraid to cut it, and um, or a wreath or something, and just do the same thing. But but the stuff is good. Uh, thread still. Yes, it would be super cute. Um, um, yeah, if, if it's not too tall. And I also run book pages around the, the where the thread would be if it doesn't have thread or um, like a, a little tiny twine or some gold 
thread would be beautiful or um, book pages we've done that too or you can do book pages with just a little bitty a little bitty bow um super cute but yeah that's great advice on these though especially on this one i don't i don't want it any taller it's tall enough so now i have to decide here i need to get this one in because it's such a big base and then i'm going to put this guy in and then I have to save room if I'm doing, oh, we're doing the snowman, aren't we? I was thinking we were doing the Santa. He was kind of the winner earlier. So let me show you now that we're getting a little bit more going. So here's the stepping Santa. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you. Um, so there's this, he's kind of stepping off. I kind of, you know, at first I thought, oh, I could put him up on a block or up on a spool or, you know, lay a spool on its side and set him up. You, know, you just think of all the things you, you could stand him up here and make his foot be like up on something. And then I kind of like the idea of him hanging down. So here's this one. And then we would add in the red bulbs and stuff. Okay. I don't know. What, let me just see. This is too bright. I think this is too, too bright doable but yeah meh <laughs> it's meh <laughs> on that and then here's this round ball the chubby the chubby guy which we could totally make him work as well and then let's just cut him out of this group this group was $14 um, let's cut him free and I'm going to cut his string off thread's expensive. I paid $16 on Amazon for a spool of gold thread to tie my um, pine, my um, pipe cleaner people onto my tree with. Dang. I probably, you know, I'm about a half hour from a Hobby Lobby and I really just wanted to get it done. So, and I wasn't going to town to fight the crowds. So I, I splurged, I guess, on gold thread. Okay. There we go. You know what? I was going to wrap that other around it anyway. Okay. Oh, there you Well, let me get him off of here. Thanks, Dave. You love the snowman. That snowman seemed to get the most. I really thought the red Santas it would be a toss-up between the red Santas, but you guys were liking these. So I'm going to see if I can get these off and save the skis. If not, it's okay. But, you know, it's really glued down here, I see. It was really, really glued down. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe I can cut around. There we go. Tara at Sweetwater Trading is very good at doing these too. Um, she has a beautiful Facebook page. She has a beautiful antique booth. She um, she posts beautiful pictures of her vignettes all the time. She doesn't do lives, but. Well, that's not true. She's gone live from her booth before, but I mean, she doesn't like make things live. I'm trying to get her to come to my group and make, <laughs> make something. Um, I, I have never had anyone do that before. I never felt like my group was that big. You know, like these girls that do that have such big groups. And my group's not really very big. We're just a sweet little bunch of girls. And um, anyway, but... Tara, since she'd never done it, I thought that would be a great way to practice and I could tell the girls, you know. And then I have another girl who's going to come in and teach us. She's actually in the group and um, I'm wanting to make some molds out of, like this, out of this little face and I don't really know how to do it. Everyone says silicone and all this stuff and I don't want to tear him apart to get his face, but yet I really want his face. <laughs> Can you, like, can I use silly putty and shove it in there? And so anyway, that one of our girls in the group has got an, an idea and she thinks she can help us. So, um, anyway, she's going to come in, uh, I think on Sunday. I haven't told the girls yet, but yeah, I think. Okay. Awesome.
some Tara. That's great. He can do it, Marilyn. Did you ask him about that um, dental stuff, whatever? I forget what it was called now. Not ask him. I forget. Um, one of the girls gave us a clinical word. <laughs> Did you, did he say it could be done? Do you have any of those little faces? You, if anybody would, you would have probably a little elf face. You got any that are broken away uh, like that, that are like yucky? Um, curious. Or I can take one apart and send it to you. I kind of thought I'd like to give it a try. So, oh, I forgot. I'm going to add some baubles. So I'm going to leave a hole. I'm going to save that in case I have a hole. I got this pretty good. It's off there pretty good. So you got a Santa face mold. Oh, that's awesome, Linda. So, okay. I may not have room for his skis, but I really want his skis. So we're going to see, I might have to cut them off in the back and see how far back they are. And I don't know that you would really see them anyway, um, but I'm not going to, because it might be a nice support. Uh, he's, he's frowning like he's going to ski over the edge of this thing and he's not sure. That's how I feel. Is a longer name than I posted. It started polyvinyl something. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, I, I think I told you guys I thought I'd ask my dentist for a little... I don't know if it's something that sets up really fast or if he could give me like the powder and I can mix it. I don't know how it comes, how it is. But I thought about stopping in and saying, hey, man, because you have to buy like a whole bunch of the things that I've been researching. you got to buy a big thing. And I just want to make, you know, that little face and then maybe some for the girls in the group if they want them. But, you know, I don't need a whole, whole bunch. And oh, this is sweet, too. I might leave that out. Let's see. I need um, I need something with a little bit of color. Oh, this is good. This is good. Now it's missing a leaf right here so I'm just gonna cut that clear back clear back here and get rid of it now you can't even tell it was missing and then I can fill it in with something I might mm, there might be it oh I bet you there was some berries on here that I've swiped off so we'll take that off too and let's see what that does over here me oh yeah 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 that balances the cream from the snowman see i've got the cream over here and just throwing that little bit over there is really good so let's do that i might shorten up this little nubbin thing this little yeah whoa <laughs> this is little where it hooks onto the vine okay so i'm gonna shove that up fairly high since it's so long okay Okay, oh, there's another berry pod thing. Let me get that off of there. Okay, all right. So I, I know I've got holes, but I have plans for the holes, so it's okay. Okay, so now my tree, let's see here. So when you pass by the people with the train sets, um, ask them, or ask them if the trees, if they would sell the trees separately, okay? Because Sometimes they do, and they have really good trees. Now, I'm not sure that's what this is. I'm just guessing that that's what this is. So let me see where, let me, I got to look at it here a little bit to get it placed. Yeah, those things are a little bit of a pain back there. And then if I place this one here-ish, yeah. So I'm going to put him right there. So I'm just going to glue this down. I don't know. Let me look at his height again. Make sure he's not too tall. Hang on. Sorry, you guys are looking at the back side. I got nothing happening over there. Let me see if I want to drop it down. Actually, I do. I don't want it that big. So let's drop it down. So here's what you do. Just go in there and you snip that wire. I usually, I try to snip that part off and then you have a little nub it and it goes in the, in the bag. Um, okay. Then you've got another really nice surface to glue down. It's a flat, see, it's pretty flat. So you just slather your glue on there. And actually that's gonna sit a lot better in here. So this is probably the worst side of the tree right here. And I tried to bend it around. See, that's kind of my biggest hole. So I'm gonna put that towards where I'm gonna put the snowman. Okay, on the snowman on skis, okay. So let's get this tree in here. I'm gonna try and just push it down a little bit so it's standing straight. 
All right, and then this other guy, he can stay on his stand, I think. That'd be fine. Okay, let's get him in. I'm sorry, you're backwards. I hate that part. Um, the other day I did my very first video, I, I practiced in the group, of putting, hey Shelly, uh, oh thanks Esther, hi Joyce, uh, hey Becky, um, of just not looking at me, of just looking down at the pro at the project and people were kind of 50-50. I, I had a lot of people like to be able to see it better because I feel like when I, I had, I had a bloody nose. <laughs> In my group. Thank God I was in my group. I looked down and I felt something. I went like that and it had been bleeding. So luckily I had, I told you, my tissue box right there. <laughs> so, oh, I was so grateful for my girls in there. And then I learned that it's the dry heat here. Um, you like it? Thanks, Marilyn. Uh, thank you, Shelly. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Debbie. Anyway, um, yeah, that was embarrassing. I never had that happen before. And now I forget what I was even saying. But so Marilyn's husband, he, he's a dentist, and he said, make sure you get some nasal cream and rub it inside, the, like the edge of your nose. So, of course, I ordered that right away. And then when I was ordering it, I was reading the, you know, the comments or whatever, just curious about it because I'd never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I'm in Zanesville, Ohio, Teresa, and um, a lot of them said they'd use Vaseline, and then they found this, and it was better, so I put a little Vaseline on a Q-tip the next morning, just kind of rubbed it around. Oh my gosh, it felt so good, like my nose really was dry inside, so I've been doing that every morning. The stuff hasn't come yet, so um, yeah, see, this is how we talk in a group. I tell them everything. <laughs> Look. Look how cute it's coming. It's probably about two thirds done, but we got a lot more to do. So I was thinking around his neck, just to amplify this blue color a little bit, that I would um, do a seed mining bow here. And this was all of this color that I have. So I'm kind of pushing, there's a little tinge of this blue color around the grayness of his, um, you know, gray can go many different directions. Grays can go purple. If you ever painted your room gray and then felt like, gee whiz, it kind of looks purple or green or blue. Grays can do a lot of crazy things. So um, this gray to me tends to have a bit of blue in it. Okay, I'm trying to tighten it up here. I tied my bow, then you pull on the little legs of your, your little hang down part and you can tighten it up and make it keep making your bow smaller and smaller. So I don't want it very long, but I thought it might kind of look like a scarf. And just get, just start the hint of that bluish. See, see how that blue has a kind of a gray, or that gray has kind of a blue, huh? You're in Spridersville. I've never heard of that. Never heard of, oh, and you're in Sydney. Yes, Joe, I know where you are. <laughs> I run into Joe at the, um, antique shows sometimes. Okay, then I wonder if I have a tree with a little blue in it. Do you mind? I'm going to step out of the camera. It's just right here. Okay, I need like three steps. One, two, three. And I'm back. One, two, three. Told you. One very far. Let me see if I have any um, trees that kind of pull, like this one kind of pulls that bluish a little bit. See that? Oh, is that weird with the other trees though? Maybe if I turn it, tone it down a little bit. I might think I might like that better than this lime green. This one's got a lot of lime green in it. Um, let's see. This one's too turquoise unless I put it down low. Be cute if he had arms to put that in his arms. I could, I mean, let me show you. I could try and glue it to him like he's got an arm, like he's holding a tree, and then put that tree there. Cute. And then, um, let's, oh, here, right here. Let me just see, what do my bulbs do? Oh yeah, I think they'll be okay. They'll be okay. All right, I'm going with those trees. Okay, look at 
these cool ones that I found. You know me and earthy stuff. Look at these. I found these at the antique show. I thought those were super cool. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Julie was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she wasn't impressed. But I think they're cool. <laughs> Okay. All right, I'm back. Okay. All right, so, yeah, I'm digging this a lot. Okay, okay. Orwell, Ohio. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love when you talk to each other. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, oh yes, yeah, so everything's vintage. Um, your neighbors. You guys, you like him holding the tree? Okay, I'm not gonna go back and I got too much to do. Yes, Linda, yes, exactly, exactly my thought. You're on it, you're on it, girlfriend. Exactly my thought. Perfect with my mushrooms. So I'm gonna kind of um, try and flatten the side of this. See how I spread that open to make it kind of snuggle in there with him a little bit so it doesn't stick out so much. Now let me see if I can show you what I meant. Um, like here, here it is just like that. And then I smashed it down and you can't tell, trust me, it looks better <laughs> smashed. <laughs> so let me smash it. I hate to cover up his arms. I mean, he's got real pipe cleaner arms, but they're curled in, they're curled in. And you guys can buy these, um, you can buy heads and uh, these um, cotton spun balls at um, on Etsy. There's a company called Smile Mercantile, and um, we buy all kinds of things from them when we're trying to create, recreate vintage things. Because you can't make a cotton spun ball like you can't get it that tight. So there, see how it's kind of hugging him now, and it's not sticking out so much. So he really, truly is like hanging on to it. Okay, and then. Let me just see how, like, how does this go? Oh, it's fine. I'm gonna pull that turquoise. So, okay, we're going in with the turquoise for sure. And I'm leaving it on its base, and I'm just gonna hope that it'll stand on this greenery straight. So hang on, I know you guys can't see. You're new. Oh, hi, Donna. Um, oh, yes. I love Michelle. Well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. You like Smile Mercantile too? Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. When you're trying to do vintage um, remakes and stuff like that, it's a great source for things. We've been going there for, I don't know, three years now, probably? Okay. Okay, right? Okay, so now I want to get, you know, just a, a little bit of something back here, whether it's, I mean, I'm not just going to do that. That's dumb. <laughs> you kind of got to think it through. Let's see, this isn't really Christmassy, but it's a nice filler. It's a little bright. Yeah, it's too bright. Okay, let's get back to this hairy stuff. Here's two, and here's two. So I'll show you. I'm going to cut... I'm gonna cut this down so I don't have that great big bulb part. And then I'm gonna cut this down, but I don't wanna lose, I don't wanna cut the bulb clear off because it's holding all of those pieces together. Um, so it keeps your box a little bit cleaner and less full when you keep the branchy stuff cut off. Uh, makes sense, can you see Anna? Oh, where can you go to their website? Oh yes, you can go right to their website. Um, oh, to their website. I always do, um, who said that, Linda? I always do Etsy. I didn't even know they had a website. They can get a little pricey, so be, you know, be prepared, but it's the only place you can get it, really. So, you know, what's it worth to you, I guess? Okay. So it, it fills out really quick, just just like that. It filled out kind of quick. And then maybe, to, so back to these chunky leaves I was telling you, like really good filler, good cover up. Um, this is good. So 
some elastic in here. And then I'm gonna show you, like sometimes you guys are perfect and you're gonna say, oh, I love that, but I'm gonna do something here at the end to pop this off the chart <laughs> for me to be like, oh yeah, that's what, it, that's what it needed. And I'll show you that if you stick with me. If not, you can catch the replay and just fast forward through, but it would be worth seeing. It'll be the very last thing that I do. Um, but so worth it. So see, I just filled in that little hole right there with one of those leaves. And then I filled in like kind of the holes here with those little leaves and um, just trying to make the back look nice in case, you know, you put it on an end table where you walk all the way around it. Um, I didn't used to always do the back and I don't smash out the back like I do the front. Uh, but, you know, I learned that from Debbie Rigg. She kind of likes you to make the back pretty too. And, and she's right. She's absolutely right. So I had these on the website. I think I've got one bunch of these left these green but I love the color of green I'm just gonna whack one of these off here and then let's work in a little bit lighter color just to see just see uh, can you see yeah okay so let me just see where I can put a couple of, I don't know something of this I always like to incorporate this a little bit too um, Maybe just right there. Okay, I'll turn it around for you in just a jiffy. I'm gonna show the piece in there. Okay. And then I've got all that happening. Oh, it's so long. Um, okay, I'm gonna shove another piece. I'll show you. I'm gonna do it upside backwards here. I'm gonna shove another of this light, like, can't see, can't see anything, kind of like there, kind of like that. And then I have this longer piece, which again, just like the trees, I can cut this down. Um, there's more foliage, this is maybe, uh, it's not letting me open the, see the rest that you're saying. You put more, oh there. The more you put in, the better you have. You can never have too much. That's exactly right. It just all adds character. I think you can have not enough, but I don't know that you can um, up top on it. I don't know. Oh, the, the website. Okay. Uh, I don't know that. What was I going to say? Um, I don't know that you can have too much. The only, the only thing is sometimes you can lose your uh, base, your tin. So if you find, you know, ugly tins for a dollar a piece, which I don't know that I've ever seen, but uh, if you do, or you use, let's say you use up all your cinnamon and you want to use your tin, but you know it's not old looking, you just cover it with greens. Um, hi, Martha. It's okay. Um, keep the initial search bar. Okay. That tells you where the website is. Oh, cute. Okay. So see how, see how each layer just like in faux finishing when we're doing walls, sometimes the first, do you remember the old sponge painting a long, long time ago? And you'd go around and you'd, you'd stomp your little sponge and it just looked like a bunch of little squares. And then you're like, okay, you go another round and it kind of pushes that last one back, softens all the squares down a little bit. And we always went around the room three or four times. I mean, this was 30 years ago. Um, but you could really get it nice and not blotchy by doing more. and each layer just kept getting better and better and would push the old layer to the background and you wouldn't see it. And that's kind of what this does. The more you add, the better it gets and the more that you're popping the underneath layers. So sometimes you wanna put a lighter color on top or you want it to tuck out the bottom end. You know what I mean? Because you're trying to make your colors and your textures all dispersed they say consistently inconsistent is kind of the thing. You want it random, but you want it rhythmically also. You want it to, um, you kind of want it crazy, but you want it to make sense in a crazy way. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. There's three options. Pick the one that related to you the best. Um, okay, so now I'm going to 
put in some bulbs. And I'm really liking maybe some of these big ones. Also, with the little ones. Um, I don't know that I have a turquoise still. Let me see here. I've got a blue one. No, I can't use a bell. I don't have a turquoise bell. I don't have a turquoise. It's turquoise. It's a little bluish. Um, these are new, but they're sweet. Um, let me cut this down. It's a no. It's a little blue. It's a little blue, but not horrible. Not as bad as. Yeah, see, it's a little more turquoisey. See that, this one? That's where I was coming from. I don't know if I want to throw something new on there. I'll see if I need that element. I'm going to cut this off because the bow is coming undone. Uh, it would be really cute if I had if I had another something in that color to add down here. We were doing that last night. It was kind of cute. Um, and I was reading, somebody was asking in one of the groups I'm in about... Um, their tins being top heavy. I've never really had that problem, uh, but they were talking about putting things inside the tin to weigh them down. So um, you might want to consider that. I've not had that problem, but that's not to say that that problem doesn't exist. So, okay. These have, all three of these have the old hook. There you can see it. I'm throwing my, see, they have those little rings So, um, just thinking, I'm thinking, give me just a minute here to make my plan of attack. So I was just wondering, I think I'm going to be better to glue them in. I've been making them. Um, okay, so I'm putting this in half. Then I have another, this is all that I have of this color. So I'm going to use all I have. I sold a bunch of it to Renee at uh, Faux Your Eyes Only. When I closed my store, she had never heard of the seam binding, so I was showing her all the colors I had. She's taken all. So this is the end. Because I do everything neutral, really. But sometimes it's nice to have a little pop of color. See, like that. Just a little plop there. So again, see how I've left a little opening so I'm able to glue this in there, and now the opening is gone. I mean, I might have to finagle a little left or right, but it's dark, so you don't really see it. If it was super silvery or gold or whatever, you might have to because that would be much brighter. But there you go. So there's that. Okay, so can you imagine this ugly sodium bicarbonate can turning out so cute? But yeah, but see, I don't know how, what time I got on. I didn't pay any attention, really. But okay, so I'm gonna. Here's another tip. Since I'm using these, and I'm not going to tie them. Like I like them like this sometimes because I can tie them onto um, like my ribbon strands or whatever. It just depends on my project. Um, but I'm keeping these little things because sometimes I buy these bulbs and I want to hang them off of something. And so don't don't just lose them by gluing them in. Keep a hold of these. I'm going to put them in my little box here. Um, and then I'll glue just this glass part straight in. So this one is my most oldest. See how it's kind of lost some of its color. So I'm going to try and get it in first here a little bit. But I love that. I love that vintagey look of it, right? Um, so I just slathered some glue there and I'm just shoving it up in. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> and then I'm going to add a couple other big ones just to pop that um, color a little bit more. I have to decide where I want it then. There's one. I'm gonna pop this one here. Oops, and I just smeared it onto that other bulb. Should come off. Okay, let me hold it so you guys can see. Oh, it's hot still. 
I'm gonna let it cool and I'm gonna try and pick it off, but sometimes you lose your, oh, thank you. Sometimes you lose your coloring. I better go at it while it's wet. Yeah, because sometimes the painting part is on the outside and it pulls off. Okay, I gotta hold this a minute, guys. I'm sorry. It's kind of letting slide down. I think I've melted the rubbery <laughs> greenery. <laughs> okay. Now, do I want a third ball here or do I want a silver? I have a silver one here. Um, let me see. Oh, I'm going to use the silver because it kind of goes with his gray hat. See the gray in his hat? Let's do that. Um, and this one's this one's kind of plat. I mean, it's old vintage, but it's all plastic, all hooked together. So I'm just going to leave that there. I can't do anything with that if I cut it off. And it won't hurt. It'll give more um, grab up in there, right? So I'm happy with this, you guys. You never know when you're building them. You know, sometimes you love them more than others, but any more, daggone, I'm loving them all. I'm loving them all. That's bad. It's showing you my house is bad because <laughs> I want to keep everything. Okay, now I'm going to stick a few of these. I'm going to keep these little tips. I'm just going to stick a few, probably just here in the front. But I want to put some here in this tree. Okay. Oh, it's in there. <laughs> um, I don't have, I don't think I have any little silver ones. I um, might see one or two over there. But they're just little. Let's see, there's one. I'm sorry I have to turn it away from you guys. I can't, I can't see it if I don't. Um, yeah, maybe I'll stick one right there. Okay, let me show you what I have. I'll keep going. Okay, so there's three in there. I think I need a fourth one back here. Feeling good about it, guys. So who was doubting me in the beginning? Who was thinking that's the ugliest tin I've ever seen? Who? Go ahead. Tell me the truth. Who was thinking that? Who was thinking ooh yuck? <laughs> It's okay. I don't mind. <laughs> or were you having faith in me? I'm not looking at your comments because I know I've been on a long. Oh, here's some little silver. These are beads off of garlands. I take old garlands and cut them. I know it makes Michelle crazy. Um, I don't know how Tara feels about it. I think she cuts hers too, but <laughs> I know it's. Oh. Okay, let me see here. I wish I had a bigger one, but I used it already. Can't really use, oh, I don't know if that's gonna glue on there. Let's see, this one's broken, so I could actually, okay, I'm gonna show you this. So I kept this one, even though it's broken. See the break? Because that break opens up and lets me put it right there. These are glass garlands, and this one's got an even bigger break, so I'm gonna use this one. So I don't even throw them away when they're broken. Or do I want to put a, no, I don't think I want a silver ball on top of a tree with that. So let's, so, so yeah, so I'm going to put the broken glass part down over the tip of this tree. Okay. And then I think I'll do another one on this one. So I need that other broken one. Where did I put it? I just put it back in here. Oh, here it is. Might as well use her up. No, that's not it. It was just tarnished. Okay. Oh, here it is. I found it. Yeah, sometimes they shatter and you, of course, can't keep them. But other times they do this. Which this has just a little bit hanging there. I'm going to break it off. If I don't break it, ooh, it might break it too much. Mm. This will go in my socks. Sure. It had like a little um, tooth hanging out of there. Now I've got a nice open hole. You can't see. You can kind of see. So that ought to fit over this bulb nice. See these, are, I, I'm, I'll show you a different one. This is going to be too hard to tell. Hang on. Okay. So 
I have some over in my sale pile. Actually, I can get them and show you. Uh, I'm not gonna untangle them, but this is how the vintage beads come. And, oh gosh, isn't that pretty? Look at this. Wow. I can't see. <laughs> Look. How pretty you can't see. How pretty. But anyway, they come strung on these um, you know, strings in their glass. So if anyone breaks them over the years, then you know, you get some broken ones. There are some broken ones on some not very many, but like these are just beautiful. Here's one that's got a broken one but it's still strung on there, so we leave it. There's one kind of hanging at the knot. They're wonderful, wonderful. Um, here's an end. No, oh, that's not very, I need one with the turquoise. That's got the turquoise, but not very far in. Wouldn't that be cute to drape that in there somehow? I mean, just super duper cute. If I wouldn't have already put the bulbs on, I don't know since I've got the bulbs on there. So cute. Oh, hey, I've got another idea. What if I wrap it around the base? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. You still see my green band. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't hate it, but if I did this, I would want to add, um, I would want to add some pink bulbs at the top, but that's kind of cute. So what you would do, you would um, cut your cut your string um, like let's. This is what I need to go around the can. So I would cut my string like back here, and then just take these off and put them in a container. You know, I have little containers of them, and um, then you would have those for your projects, and you'd have enough string to tie it off. Um, for to, to save this from falling off and to also save this from falling off, but you could probably just glue this down. That would be super cute, but I don't think I have, oh yeah I do. I don't think I have any little tiny pink bulbs or I guess I could take some off of there. Oh, dang, you know, they go in directions sometimes that you just don't expect. Um, or I've got a pink package, just a couple of pink bulbs in there would um, really be cute to pull that off. I don't know. I probably got too much in this one anyway. That's the problem when you use all, you know, vintage. It gets, they rack up pretty fast. And, um, you know, when you figure you got, you bought the tin, you've bought each tree, you've bought your little fella, you got all these greens, these bulbs are expensive. Um, yeah, it adds up fast. Uh, okay, so let's, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it done. So, uh, but I could totally do this to it, but I'm gonna call it done only because of how much I've got in it. Um, so let me show you, Snowtex is the final, what you do to take it from, oh, that's so pretty to wow, okay? And you're all gonna be like, oh my gosh, don't do it. Yes, do it, you need it. Trust me, you need it. It is the finishing touch. So, screenshot, you guys screenshot that. <laughs> I want you to screenshot it so you can see the difference that it's gonna make, okay? Everybody got it? Okay, I'm that confident, right? I'm that confident. Uh, you like it just how it is? You hold on there, Linda. You just hold on. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Uh, but, you know, you don't really, until you're sh shopping and see it, like, you know, the, the last time we were out, these little trees, the little vintage brush trees were $6 to $10. And um, I'm in a group where they're selling a little bit cheaper, but Tara's in the same group. <laughs> she keeps buying them. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I probably, I don't know how many I bought, expensive, $10 a piece, but I'll, I'll get out, remind me, just say trees here in a little bit. When I'm like saying goodbye, say trees to me, okay? And I will show you what I'm talking about. 
So let me get in here. See this, see where you can see the base of that tree? I don't like it. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna snow it all out. I'm snowing out the edge of the can. I'm gonna drip some snow down the side, okay? Cause that's what snow would do. Where are you? Okay. So that's what snow would do. Okay, I'm not hurting anything at all. There's that little slit in the in the can even, so I'm gonna go down there, might as well. And I'm gonna get back up here and finish covering up the base of that. Okay, now I could fish it all in. Oh, why don't I? What the heck? I think I will. I think I will. We might as well take this one all the way. So I'm coming in here and I'm covering up this. See the difference? There I'm covered, here I'm not. So I'm coming in. So when I tell you this is this by adding your greens and adding snow text, you're taking it a little more unique than what all the other people are doing. And something else that just made me remember to say, I have a thing on Fridays that I post for you guys to share your projects in. And I, uh, I'm getting a bunch of you guys commenting and showing pictures and everything is beautiful. Um, it's called Snow Tex, T-E-X, Snow Tex. Yes, Glenda just typed it. This bottle was $3.77 last year. I don't know what it is this year. I didn't need any more, so I didn't look. Um, but anyway, I, sometimes some of these, I have a hard time answering everybody. And and I feel bad because I'll, sometimes I do have time. So I'm like, oh, that's beautiful. And then the next person's is beautiful too, and I don't say anything because I might not see it or whatever. Um, yeah, it might. I, um, I really like the thickness of this. And then maybe if you added some baking soda to it. And, and I'll tell you what too, Michelle said the same thing um, with the Vintage Daisy, but I, I think that um, I'm used to using joint compound for work. And so it's much runnier. And then one of the girls had spackle and I even looked at the can because it was so thick and I thought, oh, maybe this is what she was talking about. It was just a little tub of it and it was white. And um, it said, I thought it would say spackling paste or something like that, but it didn't, it just said spackle. So I guess there's a difference in spackle and joint compound. I'm even gonna add some to this tree. I want you guys to see the tree's already done but I think it could be a little less perfect. And I, oh, and I need to get some on the bulbs here because if the snow is, this was something else, I won't name a name, but I was watching a video um, and she snowed like the whole base, the whole base, okay? Uh, you can add paint to it. Yeah, that's true and keep it extra white. Um, she snowed the whole base, but all of the stuff on top had no snow on it. Like the trees didn't have snow, the bulbs didn't have snow. And I thought, unless they walked over, you know, they should have a little snow on them. And I kept saying, put some snow, and she didn't. And I'm sure she didn't know what I was talking about. And I knew she had it, because she just snowed up a bunch of other stuff. And then I hate, I'm like, oh, there I am. I'm the one telling her what to do, you know, suggesting. It was, I meant it with love, but I was like, I got all into her project while she was making it. Oh my God, I was, felt like I was there, right? I'm like, okay, here, now you need to do this. <laughs> and it was beautiful and darling and all that, but I would love to have seen a little more snow. <laughs> okay, I know. I need to get a little bit, just little touches here and there. Um, so there's some snow on the trees and then, like I was just saying, if he's standing out there in the snow, he's going to have just a little bit of snow on his hat. I wouldn't do too much, but he's going to have some. And, uh, maybe a little bit on his body here. It's the details, you guys. It's the details. Okay, this little tree needs a little bit of snow. Okay, now I'm not done. We got a ton of snow to put on. Can you guess where? See if you can guess where. Around the bottom. Okay, here we go. Around the bottom. Now, I don't want to lose that green band. I think that's fantastic. So let's do a little, um, 
you know, a snow drift there. We can go up in here a little bit and I'm gonna lose a little bit of that green to make it look like a natural looking snow drift. And then we're gonna keep going around here. We're at least gonna get it around the bottom, okay. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, um, you can hit the subscribe if you're not on Facebook. Um, all of my videos get shared over to YouTube. There's like 600 of them. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> and, um, anyway, if you want to search for anything in particular and see if I've done it or not, you know, you can, like you can type in lampshades or Christmas tins or whatever. And um, anyway, but if you happen to be a YouTube gal, um, you can hit subscribe. And whenever I do a Facebook since you would be on YouTube, you wouldn't know I was going live and you wouldn't miss any. So, but you have to hit subscribe over there. Just like here, you have to hit follow if you wanna catch me. And like I said, I don't go live all the time at all. It's probably been two or three weeks since I've been live and oh my gosh, I had so many projects I wanted to do with you guys and I, didn't, I never got to any of them. I was in the group a lot, which was fun. Um, okay, there's a little spot I missed. Okay, now, then this does take a little bit of time to dry. Um, I think I need a little bit more in the front. Hang on, I've got glue hanging. It takes a, a little bit to dry, but it tacks up fairly quick, a lot quicker than that, um, oh, what's that glitter? Stickles. Stickles takes a long time to me. I think it takes a long time. So I'm just going to shove it up there. Okay, and across, and across. It's like peanut butter, white peanut butter. <laughs> okay, feels like it's dripping down from the can. So see, it's like it's sitting in a snowbank. What do you think? Do I need a little thicker? Um, there we go. It's a little masterpiece, a little teeny tiny, sweetest ever masterpiece I think so okay <laughs> so, you're funny okay so yeah we were together last night I think Julie got here like 5 30 um 6 30 7 30 8 30 it took us almost four hours um she made two and I made three um so it takes a little bit of time to do them and I don't know how long we were on tonight, but this is exactly, I mean, I tried to not have too much done ahead of time so we could really kind of just hang out together and start to finish it. Um, and you could see my thought process and how sometimes hard it is to decide. But anyway, isn't it just wonderful? It's wonderful. So this ugly, I want to say ugly ass tin. <laughs> it was, it was, but I had a vision and it had a lot of open places that I could do something with. Um, yeah, it's fabulous. So I think, is that bad? Is that bad? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love it. Um, yeah, sweet as pie. So anyway, you guys, that's all I have for tonight. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, I mean, we could certainly tackle another one, but I don't know if you guys got it in yet. I don't know what time it is. 9.30. I could do this other Santa one. Um, I know the girls in the group wanted me to do one with them. I better wait. I better wait and um, do that one with them. I think I will. And I'm sorry to tease you like that. I didn't mean that. Um, thank you. Yay. I'm glad you guys like it. You like the trees? Yeah, this one's everything. I think I was able to buy three of them. Um, so I didn't do, I didn't waste any of the little baubles in the back. You know, if I was taking it all the way, you know, I could do a couple more and maybe one more laying in the snow like it fell off would be super awesome. But, you know, they're, they could be a couple bucks a piece. So, um, oh, trees. I, I saw you guys write trees and I thought, yeah, you like the trees? <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> Hang on, let me grab them. Three steps. Uh -oh. okay. okay, so here's my old trees. Here's my new trees. I'm not opposed to new trees because two of those were new. So, and then I, okay, so here's my trees. 
I know. I have a thing for trees. Um, so, um, so like this was a new one from oh from an from the Amish country. Um, here was here was some of those new gold ones. You can't get these, you know, from old. But how good are those for this? Look at that. And then maybe, I keep thinking maybe, these cotton spun uh, angel kind of somehow. I don't know. I don't know. That one hasn't come to me just yet. Anyway, okay. So you can get weird trees too. Let me show you these. And these are old. I don't know why I have them over here because they really are vintage. Look at this one. I've had, I bought two of these. This is the, my last one. My other one I, I sold in a thing I made. And then look at these birch. This is birch with gold on top. Hmm. Where did that go? Where'd that thing go? Oh, it's tall. I'd have to get out the bolt cutters to lower that. Hmm, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Or even this one actually is kind of good. That's beautiful. Anyway, and then I found this birch in the green. See the green, little bits of green. Okay. I think I dig in here more. I, I also found these. I thought these were really interesting. Um, they were old. They're old. I love the bases, but they're just pine cones mounted to an old base. And um, we thought it might be fun to make some people or do something with them. I bought a few of those, quite a few of those. Um, we had, we had to buy them all. I just wanted one. <laughs> but um, most of the time, it's the base. The wooden bases are a dead giveaway. However, this one is a newer base. So let me, uh, I'm hoping you can see a difference. Just hang on. Let me get a, uh, let me find just a regular brush tree. Like I like the new ones when you can get them in colors too, because on the right tin, that is amazing. Like, look, you know, that can be really pretty. Um, I don't know that I have just a plain, plain green brush tree. I did, uh, I, I mean, there's one. I kind of went in and snow text a bunch of them to have them ready, but you can tell the difference. If these are all old and this is new, you can see through it, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how to tell you how to tell. Um, it's just that they're rattered, ratty, ratty and tattered. <laughs> um, the snow is browned out. Um, they're usually dirty. <laughs> the, the, you know, they're just, they're just yucky. Uh, this one's a yucky, yucky, yucky. Um, this one's yucky, but awesome. This was nine fifty, but it's an awesome. It just got so much character. And on the right, I mean, even uh, let me see, even where did the gold thing go? Even with that, like that could be really awesome too with the deer. Let's see, where's that ram? I really like the ram. Um, I don't know. I'm a matchy. I kind of have a matchy. Bye, Esther. I kind of have a matchy thing going. Um, a rust colored one is awesome to get a hold of. Um, this one's awesome. Like the more tattered, the better. Like that is awesome. But you got it. You don't start out this way, you guys. You get there. Okay. You're going to want to start with new ones. Just start with new ones. There's no reason in investing, you know, $10 a tree, $6 a tree. This one was $6. What a steal. That was a good one. This one was a really good one. It was $14. Oops, it's got something. This one was $14. Just to give you an idea, okay? Um, this one was $5. But see, it's not as awesome. It doesn't have the character that this one, and it's on a cork. So it's probably someone has taken it off, and it's dirty. It's yucky. I've got to pull it all apart. 
but you can see, you can make this look with the new ones. You can smash them around. Oh, this is a new one, it's in the wrong. Oh, look at that. That would have been perfect on that tin we just did. Dang on it, it was in the wrong box. <laughs> and here's a neat one. I'm not convinced this one's old, but I liked it. Could be, it's wood. I'm just, I don't know. It could be, because it's poorly glittered. <laughs> You know, like a brand new tree would be more like this because this one is brand new. But see what I mean? So it could be someone DIY that maybe wasn't awesome at it. I don't know. But it's tired. So it's been packed away for a while or hauled around to different shows. I don't think this one's old either. And I don't have the price on it anymore. Someone's glittered the bottom. I mean, that's super cute though. Super cute. And they've already done all the work for me. So that goes in the new one because that's new. Um, this one's plastic, so it's new. It shouldn't be in there. This little plastic uh, base. That shouldn't be in here. This one was $7. This one was $4. They're just all over the place. I don't, remember. I don't think I had my tags on my $10 ones. Look at this one. He's tired. But when I cut... I'll cut it like right here and we'll have a stumpy little, see it? It's a cute little Christmas tree and it's gonna set really nicely with, you know, maybe that one, maybe that one, see? So even that one I bought. Now this one's super cool. If you can come across these, I don't have a price on this anymore, um, but these are really cool. And we were thinking these might be from train sets. I'm just not sure, but it's really different, really different. It's plastic-ish. We think it. We think it was a train set. Look at this baby, this little baby old one. So, oh look at this one. It's all wood. Um, I think this one was old. I paid up for this one. Um, it had a nice wooden base. I don't have a price on it, but I remember. I just got it the last show, so I remember it was ten dollars. Um, this one's new because it's plastic. I just set up my things the other night, so you guys, <laughs> my drawers. Um, this one was twelve fifty. Look how good that is. That was a steal. Look at that pot. I stole it. Twelve fifty. Happy to pay it. Happy to pay it. Uh, this one. Let's see what this one was. Nine fifty. Super cute. I have another one in here that I love. Um, this was an old, this was a pin. It was $6. It's a pin that somebody wore. And I thought, boy, I could get that on the back, you know, put that forward on a tin. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let me keep this out. And this one with the pinks. I have a few with the pinks. I love the pink Christmas. There's just nowhere. Oh, here it is. There is nowhere to put it at my house. But um, here's this one. That's amazing. That is an old, old tinsel tree on a metal base. I paid $16 for it. Um, the lady, we went through her booth and she had a silver one. And I didn't get it because I've had this one a couple of years. I've never done anything with it. I would be more apt to use that silver one. Um, and she had another pink one and they were $26. They've gone up. Yes, Linda, what a great idea for that. Um, I don't know, Linda. I, I don't know when they put the plastic on. I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure a lot of them are still vintage. Um, Marilyn might know that. Um, this one's cool. I think this one's newish vintage. It's wood, but it just has a newish tint. The color of green is just kind of newer looking to me. Um, you see that? It's just a cooler, um, you see it? So I think this one's the same way, but this one's old. This one's super old. You can see the wood base. You can see the dirty snow unless someone, you know, us crafters are getting quite talented. So it's possible, you know, that you get a little bit wrong from time to time. Um, that one was $6. So anyway, anyway, um, there you go. I've got, and then I've kept, like whenever I've cut off the wood bases, I've kept them. 
I've kept them in here with the trees um, rather than the wooden ones I keep in that baggie, but the red ones I keep in here. But here's three of them I see right off the top, right off easy to find. Um, so I'm just I'm trying to show you guys what to not. Yeah, that pink for Valentine's is a great idea. I just don't want to see you guys throw things away that we used to throw away and regret. <laughs> And boy, I wish I would have kept that. Um, another thing that they're doing is they're using these boxes. Not so much these as these up here. Hang on, let me get uh, right here. Like this. I couldn't quite reach it. Oh, no, not like this because it's, it's closed. Uh, well, crap. Um, like the Shiny Bright brand is a big deal. So shiny bright, S H I N Y B R I T E. Um, but they would keep those boxes like this, and they would take the cellophane out, and they would put the back on. So let's just do this, and you know, because I don't want to take these. Here's another. Look at this. I kept this one, but look, it's broken just on the back side. The front is still good. So if I shove that into a tree, which I could just to get rid of it. Um, you would know, I'm, oh, you know what? I'll put that on the back of this tree. I told you I needed one on the back. Let's do, uh, let's do that real quick. And I'm gonna keep, see if I can do it without breaking it. Yep. I'm gonna shove this in here. Yep, why not? Just help me see it. Shoving it clear in there. There. That kind of finished the back a little bit. Um, okay. So, anyway, we would take these and make a diorama. So, they're using... Oh, let me just take it out. Hmm. So, you would do a little Christmas scene in here. Um... I mean, it's super cute, and it's like the newest thing I'm seeing that people are doing. Oh, I can do a bigger one. Let's see. Okay, this is really random, but we're just going to, you know, go with it here. Oh, that's horrible, but we're going we're going with it just to be fun. And then, um, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe a wreath, hot glue a wreath back here, and... <laughs> Set a couple presents in here. Let's just leave it at that. And then you put this on. And then they're kind of doing out around the edge. Now this one, they would have put some yellow in there. They, they've been leaving the price tag. And then some seam binding on the corner. And this is like the newest thing is not only are you buying the bulbs, but you're also using these... Um, boxes as well so keep your eyes peeled splinters and rags yeah um so keep your eyes peeled for that sort of thing for pretty i'm not crazy for this one but i would be crazy for this one if it were like that and this one's not terrible See, this one would be really cute done up in that color take all those bulbs out and see how it's got like the scalloped top um, so the inside of that would have the little diorama. It's a super cute idea. So anybody that's into vintage or you guys have a bunch of this stuff, you could do something like that. <sighs> okay, that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I got. And then I got a mess to clean up. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> so you guys, thank you for joining me. Um, your favorite bottle brush trees. Um, um, thanks, Sharon. Um, yeah, I love the idea of the pink for the Valentine's. I'll have to remember that. And, and I put those three drawer, uh, those cheap plastic three drawer things, um, these drawers, you know, Walmart for, I don't know, 20 bucks, let's say less than that probably. Um, I bought two of them the other day and stacked them. So I have one with all my cotton spun stuff. I have one with garlands and bulbs. I have one drawer of Santa's. And then one drawer of just miscellaneous stuff. Uh, let's see, cotton spun bulbs, Santas, two trees, 
else and there's one more I don't know what's in there I don't remember but anyway um yeah so I'm gonna so that I'm telling you all that so that I'm leaving my Christmas out where I can get to it all year so if I feel like um you know getting ahead of the game next year and September or whatever because that's when you kind of start talking about it like oh I can't wait to craft for Christmas I'm so um, yeah, Julie did that and I thought what a great idea. I'm gonna do the same thing and I had room just enough room in here to add one more little section So I'm not packing my Christmas away. So um, I'll move on now to winter decor and then I'll add in Valentine because winter will be frosty and white and so the red will just be fabulous with it um, I have so much color going on now. So I'll kill that down pack that away and then add all the glitty, glittery, glitzy, shiny, snowy stuff. And then just when I start to feel like, gosh, I need a little color, it'll be Valentine, so I'll pop in all the red stuff. So that'll be great. And then when I'm sick of red from Christmas and then Valentine's, it becomes spring. And so you get all of your bright colored things. And then when you're just over, over, over color, like I am sick of color, which I will be, um, it goes back to neutral, clear around till fall. And then fall, like you're happy to throw in some burnt things, some oranges and you know. So it's just a fun cycle, right? <laughs> just a fun cycle. But um, yeah, I'm excited about this, uh, leaving my Christmas stuff here. So, you know, let's say we get snowed in in January. I might just want to sit and make some more Christmas because, you know, yes, we've all done a lot of Christmas, but at the same time, I didn't do near what I wanted to do. Uh, I think I did two tins. The very first craft we did was some tins. And then um, and then we've done all kinds of other things in the group. Never got back to tins. So last night, Julie's like, let's make some tins. So we made tins last night, and then I was all hooked on it again. <laughs> so, so I thought I'd come make one with you guys since everything was out. So I'm going to clean it up. You guys have a great, great evening. Thank you for watching with me. I, I appreciate you all talking to me. Um, he exactly, Sharon. It, it always is. And, you know, I think that goes from us shopping all year round for Christmas, too. We we did this all last year. And it used to be Julie would shop for Christmas. And I was like, mm, yeah. And I would show things to her. And I never was in, that into it. And then I, it, I, obviously it bit me hard and I am all in on vintage Christmas now. So I'm all in. <laughs> so um, anyway, yeah, it's, it's a sickness for sure. <laughs> One more leg of that sickness, right? So thanks for watching again. You guys have a great night. And um, I don't know if I'll see you again before Christmas. I don't know. Maybe. Um, maybe. Uh, but if not, I hope you all have a very happy holiday, however you celebrate, and a very, very Merry Christmas. Like I'll be having, hopefully, a um, new grandbaby and all. It'll be her first year. She'll be 11 months, so um, it's going to be super fun with her. Uh, and that's all I got. Signing off. Have a great night, you guys. Bye-bye.